Okay. All right, folks. Listen. We like to get serious here. We like we like to you know not really dive deep on the issues, but we also like to provide some laughs. We we also like to challenge people to just you know not take themselves so seriously. <clears throat> and there's just I mean, wow. There's this guy. Uh, his, <clears throat> his name's Steven Crowder. Esteban Crowder. He goes by this guy. And, um, you've all seen the videos. You've seen him, you, you know, being a total goon and goof in kind of, in, you know, in a way that maybe makes you go, hmm, some, this guy's got something kind of bad going on. Whoa. All right. Okay. You see, so you can see this right now. I really hope you can hear this because I don't want to have to do another take. Um, but yeah, so there's this there's this thing that Steven Crowder does. There's a lot of conjecture around this guy that, you know, oh, he's a liar and he's a grifter and he doesn't really think any of this this nonsense that he says on his on his uh, program. Um, but I've never seen anybody talk about this aspect. <laughs> I can't even keep it together. <clears throat> this aspect of Steven Crowder is so tragically funny. And I just want to see if I can find it here for you. I know it's in this clip somewhere. So this is the clip that we've all seen about the black farmers and whatnot. All this, you know, racist kind of stuff that happens on his show. But so for context, for those of you who might not know, which I can't imagine is anybody, um, Steven Crowder uh, likes to do these bits on his program where he just says a bunch of like, he just delivers things that bigots think in a, in a like stereotyped voice, you know, kind of like the way that uptight uh, stereotypical feminist college students uh, pretend that comedy happens. That's the way he actually does it, which is awesome. Um, so I just want to dive into this. Um, a lot of people, you know, conjecture that Steven Crowder uh, doesn't believe the crap that he says on his show. Oh my bad. The crud that he says on his show. The junk that he says on his show. But nobody's ever pointed out this one particular aspect of it that it's just so uh, hard to ignore if that's the case you want to make. From my perspective, it just gives away the whole game. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I don't know where you find... Oh, he's going to say some racist stuff in this debate. So, you know, if that's going to bother you, that's a YP. Probably want to take a hike. And this many farmers of color, uh, but they did. And 5.2 billion <laughs> are being allocated exclusively for colored farmers. Farmers of color, farmers of color, roll the tape. We begin today's show looking at a major provision in President Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill that aims to address decades of discrimination against black, Hispanic, Native American, and Asian American farmers who've historically been excluded from government agricultural programs. The American Rescue Plan sets aside $10.4 billion for agriculture support and allocates about half the funds to farmers of color who are, quote, subjected to racial or ethnic prejudice because of their identity what? as members of a group. Racial or ethnic prejudice? What? What? Black people in America? Racial or ethnic pre I don't... I'm on this guy's side. <laughs> I don't know what he could... What could they possibly be referring to? I just have no idea. A quote. The U.S. Commission on Civil Rights confirmed as long ago as 1965 the U.S. Department of Agriculture discriminated against black farmers, but little was done to address the problem. 
100 years ago in the year, because it's currently now the year 2065-ish, you know, maybe it's 2064, who even knows, really. Um, so they're saying 100 years ago in the year 1965. Yeah, uh, most happy about the new policy. These people. So yeah. Okay. Here, so you heard him do that that deep inhale. He's about to do something that is embarrassing for anybody who has like a modicum of self respect to do for laughs. Okay. But just like prepare yourself for what's about to come out of his mouth. And you've probably already seen this video. And this isn't even the thing. It's what happens immediately after he does that. That is the thing that that inspired this transmission to you. So just buckle up. Oh. I'm gonna buy a plow, man. <laughs> I'm gonna plant that corn. <laughs> Go get a John Deere. Barack Obama, mother. I'm the president of plowing that ass. You, yo, dude. Okay, so so we see. <laughs> This face that he makes after he does this just savagely miserable excuse for comedy. This, like, uh, you know, this, this look of absolute anguish where he looks over at his producers or whoever these fucking people are. To, and maybe, he's, you know, it's kind of implied that he's looking at them. But look at this. Nobody would make that face after saying something they they knew was funny and they thought in their heart of hearts, like, that was a funny thing that I just said. You know what I mean? This is this right here. That's the smoking gun. <laughs> Steven Crowder, he knows that what he just said is not even coming remotely close to clearing the bar for funny material on his show. This is a guy who is trapped. I mean, I almost worry this he always has this gun with him now. I think that's a cry for help. Somebody who knows Steven needs to step in and get him the help that he needs. Before we see before he paints the wall with his brains while making this face as he depresses the trigger. I mean, this is like... And he does this. This is like a... This is like a calling card for Steven Crowder's, like, shitty, bigoted uh, you know, jokes or whatever you would call them. This is his consistent person. So, I just, you know... That's really it. We could watch the rest of this video, but you you get the point. Uh, trying different stuff on this channel. I don't know what works on this whole YouTube thing, uh, but I appreciate you for watching. Uh, I'd appreciate it more if you you know liked, commented, and subscribed. They say it helps to ask for that stuff, that kind of nonsense. Um, but I really do. I th you know thanks for watching it. Um, keep an eye out for this kind of thing, because I swear on my mother's life, this is, that's, he does this practically every time. He tells one of these jokes that's just not even a joke, really, it's just a bigoted character stereotype. Um, so yeah, I would say hit me up on Twitter, but I don't have that website. Um... Find me on Tinder. I th that's that's the that's it. Bye.